Hey, it's Joe, and this is the 10th installment in the Quant Trading and Futures video series. Today, we'll be discussing the technology we use to trade. We'll begin with the programming language Python. Python is an extremely popular language in a variety of fields. It's especially popular in finance. That's because it's very easy to work with syntactically. But at the same time, it also has many professional libraries to aid in computation. So while these libraries are accessible in Python, they're not written in Python. They're written in a very fast programming language such as C. And for that reason, the libraries themselves are extremely performant. And Python is just a very multi-purpose tool. You can use it to solve almost any task. It's unlike other programming languages that tend to be more domain specific. Other languages, they have their one niche, but if you take them outside of that niche, they can't do the task. Python, solve almost any task with it. Now the one knock on Python is that it is relatively slow if you're not using one of these professional libraries. So if you're doing something where speed is of the utmost importance, such as execution, for instance, we don't want to be using Python. But for everything else, we do want to be writing all our code in Python. It's a great language. The two most important Python libraries for quant trading are Pandas and NumPy. These are the industry standard data structures and data analysis libraries in Python. And they're both written in C, very fast programming language. They allow for vectorized operations. This means if you're adding two arrays together in Python using pandas or numpy, the element-wise addition isn't done in Python, which remember is relatively slow. The element-wise addition is done in C. So it really speeds things up. And vectorizing the trade logic function in particular, it's extremely important because it can dramatically reduce the computation time in a backtest. When you're doing a backtest, you're evaluating the trade logic function many different times with different parameter sets to compute those return series. And so it's important that the trade logic function is as efficient as possible. And that means using vectorized operations from pandas and numpy. And finally, these libraries make backtesting intraday strategies feasible. If we didn't have these vectorized operations that ran most of the code in C, and we instead had to do all the computations in Python itself, then it would be way too slow. It would take forever to run and it would be impossible to effectively backtest intraday trading strategies. Another important Python library is the hyperopt library. This is the library for optimizing the hyperparameters of a machine learning model, but it is general enough to be used for different but similar optimization problems. So remember we drew an analogy between the optimization of the hyperparameters of a machine learning model and the optimization of the trading parameters of a trading strategy. And indeed we use hyperopt in order to apply a Bayesian search to the problem of optimizing a trading strategy's parameters. And Python has a whole host of other very useful statistics libraries. One of them is scipy.optimize. This is a library for solving a variety of different optimization problems. Specifically, we use scipy.optimize in order to compute the risk parity weights when we're doing portfolio optimization. It has a solution to that quadratic programming problem. Scikit-learn is a great library for building machine learning models in Python. It makes this very easy and straightforward to do. Stats Models is a great library for linear regression, for analyzing linear regression, and for doing other statistical analysis. And Pi Finance has a vectorized implementation of a rolling linear regression. So if your trade logic function requires recomputing the linear regression results for each day, you're going to want to use the Pi Finance vectorized implementation of this because the backend is written in C, and so it's going to be a lot faster. Which actually leads us right into the next programming language we're going to discuss. C++. This is an extremely fast language. It is the industry standard language for tasks where top speed is super important. And for that reason, it's a great complement to Python. Remember, Python is relatively slow. C++'s speed covers Python's one weakness. Now, the knock on C++, nowhere near as easy to use as Python. It's syntactically very difficult. Coding up the same task using C++, where you otherwise would use Python, it might take you twice as long. It might even take longer. But when speed is important, you're going to want to be using C++ instead of Python. And for that reason, we use C++ in order to program our pegged iceberg execution algorithm. So that'll do it regarding the different programming languages we want to use and the libraries corresponding to these different programming languages. And we'll end with a discussion of the trading platforms and the brokerages we use to actually execute our trades. So first up is Sierra Chart. This is the trading platform we use for the hedge fund. I also use it for my personal account. They have a C++ API allowing for automated trading. So as we had just discussed, our execution algorithm is programmed in C++ and we deploy it via Sierra chart. Overall, it's just a good trading platform, good technology, very widely used, frequent updates. 
the other trading platform we use is Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation, TWS being the trading platform and Interactive Brokers being the brokerage. And we use them for our managed accounts. They have very good functionality for managed accounts, good support. That's really why we choose to use them for the managed accounts. They also have a built-in execution algorithm, functionally very similar to the pegged iceberg execution algorithm that we code up in C++, and they allow for automated trading. And finally, two more brokerages, Advantage Futures and AMP, with Advantage Futures being the brokerage we use for the hedge fund and AMP being the brokerage I use for my personal account. And with both of these brokerages, Sierra Chart is the trading platform we're going to be using. So that'll do it for this presentation on the technology we use to trade. That also finishes all the content we'll be discussing in this Quant Trading Futures video series. Next time we'll have a recap where we highlight the most important points from each video.